Next, I'd like to present His Excellency, Mr. Suryo Pratomo, the Ambassador to the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia. Selamat sore, Your Excellency. Silak for opening address. Thank you, Simon Ang. Mr. Edward Lu, Managing Director, Conference and Exhibition Management Services. Mr. Ho Nai Chun. Yes. Uh, so once again, Mr. Edward Liu, Managing Director, Conference and Exhibition Management Services. Mr. Ho Nai Chun, uh, President of Singapore Jewelers Association. Ms. Simon Ng, uh, Founders and Creative Director of Simon Jewels. Mr. Noi L. Ram, Managing Director, Asia Pacific Sarin Technologies Group. Mr. Matthew Elton, CEO Holton. Ms. Caroline, this is very important, from Indonesia, Founders and Creative Director of CW Jewels, distinguished participant, ladies and gentlemen. My dear friend of jewelers from both countries, Indonesia and Singapore. Very good afternoon to all of you. Hope, uh, God Almighty always bless to all of us. I'm very agreed with Mr. Uh, Ho that we are now still in pandemic COVID-19. So pandemic COVID-19 has not finished yet. We are still struggle to combating the COVID-19. So hopefully uh, this year condition is more better and we can together visit and also attend the exhibition that will be prepared by Simon and all the friends. I am pleased to welcome you on Singapore International Jewelry Exhibition Webinar with the team on the truth behind gemstone authentication help in collaboration between Conference and Exhibition Management Services, or CEMS, and Singapore Jewelers Association. As we heard, this webinar is part of pre-event of Singapore International Jewelry Expo 2021, which will be held on early December 2021, and Indonesia will be the partner country for the first endemic New York Normal Jewelry Expo effort in Singapore. I thank you to CMS and Singapore Jewelers Association for hosting this webinar. This webinar aims to providing knowledge and more understanding for buyers as well as the jewelers to look at gemstone and determine whether is it natural or lab grown or fake online. The professional are able to detect and recognize the three. Fortunately, this webinar will present the leading industry experts such as Mr. Noy Elram from Asia Pacific Sharin Technologies Group to speak and share his knowledge on critical diamond authentication and certification in digital times. You will learn the key element that both jewelers and buyers should know when making an online purchase. You can also learn what factors that would impact the pricing of these valuable gems and jewelry price. Mr. Matthew Elton from Hot Lots of Jewelry Action host in Singapore also will speak concerning understanding the value of your pre-owned jewelry to deliver more understanding how gems increasing in value over time to become investment pieces and how they are authenticated. The last but not least webinar will present CW Jewels, Ms. Caroline Wiwohon, the Indonesian speaker who is fourth generation jewelers. I proudly introduce this talented and creative jewelry designer who has natural passion for jewelry design after graduation in 2010 from famous Gemologist Institute of America, or GIA, she turned his passion into a business 
establishing CW jewels in Singapore, located at Chips B Garden, 43 Jalan Merah Saga, Singapore. She designed jewelry out of Singapore and Los Angeles and manufactured them in Semarang, Central Java, Indonesia. These wonderful pieces of jewelry are exported to the world, including in Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, she is not the only Indonesian jewelry designer. In this occasion, I would like to convey to you all that Indonesia has a lot of other hidden gems, namely talented and creative jewelry designers. You must know some of them, like Miss Kunang Andris, who was the young designer at Mikimoto One, the well-known Japan jewelers. She accomplished her study at Gemonological Association Fellowship in London, which is equivalent to GIA in the United States. You perhaps know as well Miss Wanda Ponika, a designer and well-known jewelry entrepreneur in Indonesia. And we also have Julia Hadi Wagner, an Indonesian diaspora jewelry designer who initiated of as professional jewelers in Henderson, Nevada since 35 years ago from peddling the jewelry that was entrusted to her. She also designed and sell her own jewelry on the Carrots and Grants website. Dear jewelers and distinguished buyers, you all know Indonesia has a lot of resources of gemstone and pearl. One of gemstone resources that I can mention is Martapura, the capital of Banjar Regency next to Banjar Nasin City, South Kalimantan. This city is also famous and frequent by tourists because it is the center of diamond sales transaction and the main diamond police place in Kalimantan and provides many souvenirs to precious stone. Martapura is a city of shiny literary because it is known as producer of many precious stones. Matapura is also a diamond processing center as well as a diamond transaction center in Kalimantan. Matapura is known as one of the best quality precious stone producing area in the world for fans of jewelry and accessories such as necklace, bracelet, ring, brooches, and others, especially those made of pure diamond gold, silver, and various other gemstones, then Martapura is the right place to hunt for these jewelries. The quality of Martapura jewelry, which is globally recognized as one of the best in the world. The other agency that I want to mention is Lombok at West Nusa Tenggara. Lombok is not only rich in culture and natural tourist destination, it is also famous for its worldwide charm of Lombok seawater and freshwater shell are capable of producing large and shiny pearls. Moreover, combined with gold, silver, and rhodium can boost the price of the jewelry to penetrate tens of millions. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to know that Indonesian jewelers have already engaged with related buyers and in Singapore. I would like to thanks to let us strengthen our trade relation, especially on jewelry. Indonesia has recorded its jewelry export to Singapore 2.97 billion US dollars in value and has positive trend 10.01 percent since 2016 and even has this 3.0. 23 billion US dollars in 2019 as the biggest jewelry export value. Indonesian jewelry export dominated the entire of oil and gas goods which were exported to Singapore. The total value of non oil and gas export of Indonesia to Singapore has been raised 8.5 billion US dollars in 2020. The other hand, the total trade between Indonesia and Singapore has been raised 23 billion US dollar in 2020 and even raised 
34.35 billion US dollar in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that by participating in this webinar, we are in the right place and the right time. Together, let us accelerate the exchange of ideas and scaling up of good practices. I am especially pleased that the discussion and activities here will attract you to engage with Indonesian jewelers and manufacturing. I encourage all of you to visit Indonesia Pavilion in Singapore International Jewelry Expo 2021, which will take place on 2, 2 by December 2021 at Marina Bay Sands Convention Center. I'm confident that you will find new ideas, fresh energy, and novel partnership to sustain your effort in support of your jewelry businesses and relation of Indonesia and Singapore. I wish you all a very successful webinar, fruitful webinar, and take the advantage and all information about Gemstone and Jewelry. I thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih, Your Excellency.